They, uh, our friends in the world of elementary particle physics had a conference which was called the Rochester Conference, typically once a year. It used to be at Rochester, but then it began to move from one place to another. I went to one, and there I met a, a young chap I was told was a very good, able graduate student at Cornell, or was it at Rochester? At Rochester, a very able graduate student named Tulio Reggie, and he got into conversation with him, and a, a year or two later, I was at the University of Leiden, and I wanted to analyze what happens around a black hole when there's a disturbance that takes place. What happens to this disturbance? How fast does it move in or out? So on. So I wrote a paper in which I left slots for the mathematics and I just gave the ideas and the conclusions. And I sent it to Reggie with his name and mine on it as authors to see if he felt that he could fill in. Well, he, on his way from Rochester to his native Italy one time, stopped in to see me in the Netherlands, and he had it all filled in so we could send in this paper for publication. But uh, uh, Reggie had a disease or an infirmity which had been inherited from his father. That infirmity is, as life goes on, to become more and more crippled, less and less able to stand up on one's own feet. And I saw him in May of this year in Rome, and he, here he is in a wheelchair now. Richie, because of his physical infirmity, realizes more than most of us that life is limited. He wants to squeeze as much as possible into it. So he has among other things, designed a special kind of sofa cushion, which is artistic as well as comfortable, and some manufacturer makes it now. And he also got himself elected to the European Parliament. He had to run, he ran on the ticket of getting ramps for people with wheelchairs and all kinds of special helps in buildings so that the handicapped could get around as much as other people. The party that The party that would back Reggie on his proposals turned out to be the Communist Party. So he became a Communist delegate. That was some years ago. When I saw him in Rome in May of this year, he said that he's resigning from the European Parliament. He's giving up being a delegate. And his activities all going to physics. But another thing he did was to act as co-author of a book with the great Italian writer Primo Levi. He, in that, he tells about coming to visit me in Leiden with this not very much in it about this paper that we were working on, but he tells about the fireworks that I had succeeded in getting hold of and about how I could set them off in the grounds of the Institute when we were working there on a Sunday. But we didn't realize all the 
pure heart we would cause. The police force arrived after we'd set them off. <laughs> we had to convince them that we were not terrorists. It's for me very hard to think of parts of the world that are taking part, acting, go to a place where they can't be seen or show anymore. The physical world is one, would be my way to put it. But it's reconciled me a little to that, to realize that what we're talking about in the formation of a black hole is in some ways the reverse of what we talk about when we talk of the Big Bang in which the universe was born. A lot of physical activity coming out of a region where there is no physical activity to begin with. Well, we're very far from being able to deal with these ultimate questions in a truly satisfactory way now. Uh, I would put the question in its largest form this way. How come existence? How come that there is anything at all? And the black hole is a standing invitation to consider that issue because it says you've got something going to nothing. Well, then how do you get out of nothing, something. How do you turn it around? Here we're skidding at the frontiers between physics and philosophy. I always say philosophy is too important to be left to the philosophers. But it's one thing to say that, and another thing to see what philosophical idea will carry us through this new frontier of mystery that faces us now with renewed force. Renewed force because we study the evidence of the Big Bang ever more fully in astrophysics, and we study the evidence of crunch to a black hole ever more in the cores of Milky Ways like ours. <laughs>